Hello, I'm Artifacts of Mars. And the media is apparently, is quite possibly shucking and jiving us about a device that was stepped on in New York City. There's three guys walking together and some guy steps on what I was told was a rock. I was listening to Jim Quinn of WarRoom.com. At any rate, an explosive device <laughs> blew off part of his leg. Put simply, this is called an anti-personnel line. Now, media's been giving us a line of bullshit about its being fireworks or an experiment with homemade explosives. That is a lie. It's right here on CNN. Preliminary investigation suggests the explosion was an experiment with fireworks or homemade explosives. You are a liar, 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 pants on fire. That is a lie. Because this fits exactly what an anti-personnel mine does. The anti-personnel mines aren't really designed to kill, they're designed to maim. Why? Because... You see, in wartime, if you have an army and somebody gets shot and killed, you leave the body there and you keep on moving. However, if you step on it, step on a landmine, an anti-personnel mine, uh, it maims the person and it takes a lot of people to care for that person. Take something like four people, if I'm not mistaken, at least, and that way you bargain up, you can bargain the army down with all those injuries, as opposed to a bullet taking somebody's life and you just leave them sat there. That's the way warfare works. And Jim Quinn was talking about this, and I said, "Yeah, he's right." And that's uh, classic. Uh, Description of an anti-personnel mine. We do not have any evidence of constructed device or commercial grade fireworks. Uh, Chief John O'Connell said at a news conference on Sunday. That is bullshit. There are no specific credible threats directed at New York on the 4th, July 4th celebrations. That's probably the only thing he told, said that was true about no specific threats. Uh, it is not unusual for people to try and make homemade fireworks around the 4th of July, O'Connell said, calling such activity completely unadvisable. As I said, this is arguably an anti-personnel mine, and it's being soft-soaked by the media. Uh, witnesses said the sound of blast rippled through the park like a cannon, scaring birds off trees. Some assumed it was firework giving, given the holiday weekend. Nonetheless, blast rattled New Yorkers, especially in the wake of recent acts of terror in the United States and elsewhere in the world. Another, more, another name for this is an IED, improv, Improvised Explosive Device. Tell me this was an accident? No, that is a lie. So once again, the media is giving us a line of bullshit. You pretty much expect that this could be traced. You'd uh, it could be traced to a mosque. That's maybe a bit of a leap, but. I call him as I see him. Clearly, I would say this is somebody who had good knowledge of chemistry. You don't have to be anything more than good with computers to get 
enough knowledge of chemistry to be able to create something of this type from readily available materials, unfortunately, he said. This is clearly explosive material, but there's nothing to indicate that this was an explosive device that was placed or put in this area with specific intent to harm any individuals. That is a lie. Explosive material from the scene was being tested at the bomb, bomb lab. A federal law enforcement official told CNN members of the FBI led Joint Terrorism Task Force with expertise in explosives assisted given the nature of the incident. Well, there you have it. You can judge for yourself, but this is a classic case of how a landmine goes off and what it does. Absolutely classic. The uh, media doesn't dare tell the truth about it. I don't care. So I'm calling it what it is. It's landmine. It's probably an experiment to see uh, how the media and the government reacts. And of course, they're reacting by giving us a line of bullshit. And there'll probably be more of these. Just remember, this is what an anti-personnel mine does. And they're not expensive to make, either. I think the Japanese have one that they drop from airplanes. I'd have to look it up, and it only costs them a couple bucks per uh, mine to make. I think they call them Butterfly or something like that, if I'm not mistaken. Well, anyway, there you go. They're giving you a line of bullshit. Media and government and so forth. I want the facts of Mars.